Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. I have a late Dollar Tree haul for you guys today. I don't usually film anything at night, but it was just such a hectic day today that I'm finally getting around to filming this. So I ran to my Dollar Tree, which was an absolute disaster. Let me tell you what, I've never seen my Dollar Tree look as bad as it looked today. There was just stuff everywhere, boxes, people would knock stuff off shelves, and everybody just walked around it all. It was absolutely horrible in there today, and I've never seen it that bad. But anyway, I did find a few new things that I picked up, and I'll show you my usuals that I get. I was also very disappointed with this. I had to pick up the drawstring bags because they didn't have my vanilla scented ones. I usually get the Good Sense vanilla bags with the handles, and they didn't have any. So I grabbed one of these because I really just wanted these for uh, in here in my craft room anyway. And this is, usually has eight bags. This one has the 10, 13 gallon bags. So we'll use these. I mean, these aren't bad. I just love the scented ones with the vanilla. They just smell so much better. Um, I did pick up another one of the coconut oils. This is a seven and a quarter ounce. Uh, it's 100 percent pure refined coconut oil. And I like to use this in my uh, homemade body butter that I make. And I want to be making another batch of that because I love that stuff. And if anybody wants to know about that, I have a video of that up if you guys want to check that out. And I picked up two more cans of the beets at the Del Monte. These are, these are really good. These are only 79 cents at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed two of those. And of course, another jar of the jalapenos for my husband. I get those every week. And then I grabbed two packs of the uh, Sunbeam. These are supposed to be the super heavy duty batteries. These are the D size. Um, ideal for low drain devices. So that's good. So I'm good. I use these in my um, flameless candles that I have out in the living room. They're kind of like tall candles. And, you know, these work fine. They don't last as long as like, you know, like Duracell or something. But they do last quite a while. So that's, that's not bad. I mean, and they're only a dollar. So batteries are very expensive. And then I grabbed another one of my uh, craft floral foams. So I want to be doing some more fall crafting here, and I needed a couple of those. And then I found some really cute ribbon. I thought this was really pretty. This is the wired ribbon, um, and it's just got really cute little pumpkins on it. And they're not real bright, bright orange. They're just a really, ugh, the glare in here is awful at nighttime. But you can see it pretty good. And this is the two and a half inch wide by 108 inches, like three yards, nine feet, whatever, however you want to say it, it gives you every dimension on here, three yards, nine feet, two inches, 108 inches, there you go, so I thought that was really pretty, anywho, I just never realized they had so many different sizes written on there, and then I grabbed another one of these, I think I got this one last year too, um, but I really liked it. I used it all up, so I'm glad I found another one for this year. And then, oh, I'm dropping things. Hang on. Then I picked up another pack of the felt stickers. I thought these were really cute ones. And these have little, I can't really see the ghost too good in there, but there's a ghost back there. And some pumpkins and bats. And, um, let me rip this open. I hate ripping it open because it makes so much noise. There we go. I want to see what the ghost looks like. Oh, he's really cute. Yeah, they're really nice. I picked up the ones last week. They were um, like witches' hats and witches' feet and a pack of the Halloween owls. And this was a different one they had out this week. I didn't see this one last time when I was there. And oh, and there's two different kinds of little jack-o'-lanterns in there. So that was nice. And I threw the thing away, so I don't know how many are in here. Um... 16. Okay, there you get 16 in there for a dollar. But they're really super cute. So now I get that. And this I was real ha happy to find. I thought these were adorable. It's like these little bucket. It's like a planter. I guess you could use it for whatever. I'm going to do some kind of a fall arrangement in here. I'm not quite sure what yet, but I thought he was real cute. And there was another one too. I may have taken a picture of it. I'm going to put a couple pictures up at the end, but there really wasn't a lot out. Um, it was new, so I only took a couple pictures this time to put at the end of things that I didn't get. But I thought he was really cute. I don't remember what the other one was. It wasn't an owl. It was something else. It might have been a pumpkin. I'm not sure. 
And then I saw this, I thought this would be really cute to make one of my little arrangements in for the fall or even for the holidays. This is just a little, um, I don't even know what they're calling this. This just was in where the gift boxes and things are. It's just a cute little gift box if you want to fill it up with something. But I'm going to use it, and only one side is like foiled, and the rest of them are not. I thought that was kind of odd too, but it's cute. So I grabbed one of those, and we'll make something with that. And then I saw this candle, and I don't know what I'm going to do with this one yet either, but I thought this is great for um, Halloween right through Thanksgiving. It has really, it's like an ombre, you know, effect to it with the colors of the orange, and I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. Island Mango. Doesn't smell like much of anything. But anyway, it'll be pretty, so I don't really care about the smells. So I grabbed one of those. They had those in a bunch of different colors, too. And then when I was getting ready to leave, I saw these cute little lip glosses. I don't know if people have been hauling these before, but this is the first time I've seen them at my Dollar Tree. And um, this is supposed to be cinnamon sugar scented. And then I got this one is supposed to be chocolate scented. And yeah, I'm thinking Christmas already. I thought these would be great little stocking stuffers. They're really super cute. I can't imagine there's a ton of lip gloss in there, but... They're adorable little donuts. I think I said cupcakes before, but they're donuts. Yeah, they're really cute. And there was a couple other colors too, but these were the really the cutest ones I thought. And then I grabbed a bottle of this. This is a big bottle. It's a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Um, just to keep in my shower for my husband. He ran out of shampoo and asked me to grab something the Dollar Tree and this is pretty nice stuff. It smells pretty good, and I haven't used this one. I have used some of the other uh, Silkians Pro formulas, but I haven't used this exact one. And this is a um, B5 aloe and soy protein, it says. So we're going to give that a shot. I don't know if anybody else has tried this one. And what else did I get? Oh, I was so excited to find this. I always get the um, minty ones like the can hard candies like this and then the center is that nice gooey chocolate and this one I was so excited it says it's chocolate and coffee filled candy well I've eaten about three of them I bought two bags I opened the other bag and I think I've had about three of these and I can't figure out what they taste like they don't taste like chocolate and they don't taste like coffee they're not bad but I'm still trying to figure out exactly what they taste like but I'm not tasting coffee or chocolate. So if you see these and you're looking for a good coffee candy, I don't know. I just I can't figure out what the taste is. Like I said, they taste pretty good as far as you know hard candy goes, but not coffee or chocolate flavor. And then I picked up a six pack of these little balls. Actually, I got these for my birds. My cats, they play with them too sometimes if the birds throw them on the floor, but the birds really love these jingly bells. And this is a good price, six for a dollar, because if you try to buy these, like, online, they sell these, like, in, for, you know, bird toys, and, I don't know, you pay, like, two, three dollars for those. So, I thought that was a good deal. Oh, uh, here's some more boring stuff. I did grab another ten pack of the Ultra Shine uh, dishwashing machine. Dishwasher. There we go. Not washing machine. Dishwasher packs. I love these. These work really, really good. So I just grabbed another one of those. And of course I grabbed another one of my spick and spans that I get every time I'm at the Dollar Tree. I think I go through at least one of these a week. At least. And then I came across this cute little picture there. I think these have been out for a while too. I haven't seen this one, but I thought this was so pretty. And I'm trying to do my, um, I have like a middle room. We never even knew what to use it for, but now we have birds in it. So I'm trying to decorate it, you know, with feathers and different kinds of bird things. And I thought this would be so pretty in there. Let your dreams take flight. And I love the pretty feathers on there. They're like done in like a gold. and It's a nice size. It's not really tiny. I don't know exactly how big this is. Where's my ruler? It's, um... It's like eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters. It's a decent size. It's not the tiny ones. I have some smaller ones that they had like in this canvas uh, type pictures out in my kitchen that were cute, but they weren't this big. So I grabbed that, and then I saw these down at the other end of the aisle. 
and I've seen these before, I've seen people haul these, and these are the wall stickers, and I thought that would go with it really cute in that room, with all the pretty feathers on there, so I grabbed that, and I don't know how many's on here, it doesn't say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's almost 20, I think there's about 20 on here, yeah, they're really pretty. So I'm going to put those up maybe this weekend. I'm trying to get that room organized. And then, let's see. I grabbed two of these. I want to redo these for a, I'm not sure if I want to do them for fall or for Christmas. But I'm going to remake these little babies into something else. And I just thought they would be perfect little candle holders to decorate up for the holidays. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. I mean, I may do them for fall, and maybe if I can find two more. They had a bunch of them, but a lot of them were really bent and out of shape. But I did find two that were in pretty decent shape, and they're just the little tea light holders. And I don't think these don't come. They're, like, glued in there or something. But that's okay. Yeah, they says to be careful they don't tip over, but I would probably put a, one of those little flameless tea lights in there because I can't burn candles out by my birds anyhow. So I got two of those to do something with and I just got one little bunch of flowers today. This was a different one I didn't have and these are just called um, a filler bouquet. Actually I may have one of these. Well I'm glad I only got one then because I think I do have one of these over here in this pile. But I like the little flowers. They don't have a lot of tiny flowers at the Dollar Tree. A lot of them are just the big you know, like mums and sunflowers and things like that. And then I found these really cute um, 2019 pocket calendars. It's a, actually a planner. It's really small. It's a nice, you know, little size. And I thought this was really nice. It has, you know, a lot of room to write in here. If you want to use it for your little planner in your purse, you could even decorate these up pretty if you wanted to. I don't think I will do all that. It has a lot of uh, note pages in the back too, so that's good. And contacts, which is something I want to do one of these days. I really need to write down all my contacts in a book. Because if I ever lost my cell phone, no one would ever hear from me again. I don't know anybody's phone number. So that is something I need to do, is really just to write them all down. So anyway, I found this pretty one. I thought that was a real pretty. They had a couple different ones. They don't want black and white polka dots and something else. And then I got this one with the chevron pattern I thought was real pretty. So yeah, I like these a lot. I like to have one in my purse. So I got two of those. I'll probably share one of them. And then lastly, I have this little pile of goodies here. I picked up a pack of five pieces of the self laminating sheets. And I have a few things that I wanted to laminate, and I also had a couple ideas in here in my craft room of stuff that I want to use some of these laminating sheets for. And you know, I can't always find these. I haven't seen these in a while in my Dollar Trees, but they had tons of them. I don't know if it's, you know, for back to school. They're all stocked up with everything right now. And then I found some of these. I haven't been able to find these lately either. The gemstone stickers. I've been able to find like the red and the green and the blue, but the, um, the clear ones sometimes are hard to find, so I grabbed the only three that they had there, and there's 315 count, and then I, uh, I grabbed two of the yellow, because I didn't have too much of the yellow color, and they're real pretty, I love using these on different things, and let me tell you, I stopped at Walmart after the Dollar Tree, and people were there shopping for their kids back to school, and all I can say is they ha all had their lists of everything that they had to get from the school. And I am so glad I don't have kids going to school anymore because this one poor woman almost fainted when she checked out. It was like over $250 for two of her kids' back-to-school supplies. It's absolutely crazy. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so glad I don't have to do that anymore. So I feel sorry for all you back-to-schoolers out there. They should have went to the Dollar Tree. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I found these cute foil stickers. I haven't seen these. I don't know if anybody else has seen these, but this is the first for my Dollar Tree. There's 13 stickers in here, and this is all done like in a rose gold. I'm hoping this shows up. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. 
and let me get something behind it here. Uh, something. Of course, I have nothing here blank. Here, I'll use my little mat here. So you can see the stickers better. They're really cute. There's the ice cream cone, all you need is love, and there's that watch, and then beautiful life. I thought that one was real pretty. And then I found this one, and this one has the gold foil. This is not showing up well on here either. That's not showing up well either. I need something white. I don't have anything white on hand. How about in this little notebook? Will this work? Oh, that works a little bit better. All right. So this has the little hello sign there. Some of them are gold, some of them are just, these are just black, and these are just in gold writing on this one and these down here. I thought these were so pretty. Yeah, they're not showing up very well in this light, but they're really, really cute. And then this one you'll probably see better. This one's in color. I thought these were adorable, and these are all like little foil stickers. And they, this one has 16 count, the last one had 11. And I thought this one was real pretty. It says friends, love, call me. It's got this little cute little cloud. It's getting really dark out now. I was trying to get this done before it got too dark tonight. Ay. Let me see if I can just put this on the back of this one. And then this one I found is the other foil one that I found. Is the, or is this the one I showed first? This is the one I showed first. I bought two of those. I didn't know I got two of them. Well, anyway, I got two of these lovelies. So maybe I'll have to share a pack of these. I'll put these over here in my little share pile. And then I got these. I haven't seen these in a while. I don't know if I've seen these at all, honestly. But I don't have this set. I don't know if anybody else has seen these. I thought these were so cute. And these are the like the pop-up stickers. You know, they're... I don't know if you can see, oh yeah, there you can see them. How they're like a, on a foam thing. And these are cute. There's eight in here. And I like the one with the little coffee thing and the little birdie. And then I picked up two more of these magnetic pads. This one I had before. I, it's almost gone. I have it out of my refrigerator. So I grabbed another one of these. And I like these because they have the two magnets on them. And these are the only ones that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree in a while that, you know, sometimes you hang them up and the whole thing falls off the cardboard. These have not. I've had that one up there all summer. And it's almost out. So I grabbed another one of the butterflies. And then I picked up this one I thought was really cute, too. And this one just has some flowers and ladybugs. So that is all that I got at the Dollar Tree this week. It was enough. But, like I said, it was just such a disaster. They have a ton of more holiday stuff coming out. I'm sure Halloween I saw boxes for costumes and everything else. But right now is mainly, you know, they got all their school supplies out. So I'm sure after that kind of dwindles down a little bit. All the rest of this Halloween stuff will pop up, I hope, soon, because I need some more Halloween stuff. Not really, but I, I can use it for my crafting, if you know what I mean. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everybody.